Hey guys. Okay, so um, we're just going to have another look at these uh, SMS paints. And what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, paint up this helmet that's from the Mosbita set. Um, well, the kit that I'm currently building. Okay, sorry about the noise outside. It's, it's pissing down with rain. And the hobby room's downstairs. So it's... You hear everything. Alright, so just give you a heads up on that. Um, so what we're going to do is... This is going to be white, okay? So if I get the box art in enough, but that's his helmet there, okay? So we're sort of going off the box art, not like we're not going for that clean look. So we're going for like a painted look, uh, like an artwork style look. But yeah, you see it. There's, there's bits of dark grey, there's white, there's various shades of uh, like the whites through greys in there. So we're going to try and replicate that with paint. Um, so what we're going to use is I'm going to base base it with German grey as a really dark colour. I've already primed it using um, the Mission Models um, grey primer because I don't have any SMS primer so that's probably the primer that I normally go for. Um, so we're going to go after German grey just to give it that dark shade and then we're going to slowly work our way up through the greys. We're going to go ocean grey and then we're going to go to a light gold grey and then in this box set here that's been sent out to us by SMS. You got the beginner set, okay? It's a four bottle set, but in there there's a bottle of white. So you get white, black, uh, clear gloss, and a flat clear. So we're going to grab the white out of this, which is what we use. And I'll definitely put the link down in the description below. Just so if you're interested in these paints, you want to give them a crack. Um, they are really nice paints to spray with, actually. It's probably, I've been using these most of the day today, so really enjoying um, using these paints alright so what we got in this, this little tube here and all it's got is just general purpose um, lacquer thinners so we're just going to put a very tiny, you can't even see it, like it's only like a few drops just to prime the uh, airbrush and then we're going to give I've already um, added some uh, stainless steel paint shaking balls in these bottles okay these don't come stock stock standard with a, a glass, uh, sorry, a steel ball in these paints. So if you want to add one, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to add one in yourself. Alright, so I'm just going to tip the paint in there. Give the bottle a wipe. Okay, so just going to give it a test spray. And she's coming out, give it a bit of a mix. There. Now we're just going to adjust the airflow on the Mac valve, and I'm also using um, an old Awada Neo uh, just for my lacquer. I think it's got a 0 0.3 needle inside, um, and it's if you want to sort of talk about air pressure, like what I'm spraying at, I'm probably spraying around about 12. All right, so all we're going to do is just grab this helmet and going to be fairly liberal with this not as when I say liberal it's going to be a nice coat over here we're not trying to like mist it on or anything we're just lightly putting it on but still being generous and being lacquer it dries really fast. Um, I've been spraying acrylics most of the day today and it's just taking forever to dry because the the moisture that's in the air. It's a uh, days like this spraying lacquer you know, comes in handy. Alright, so you can see there. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm gonna clean this out. Just gonna grab some Q tips with a bit of thinner in the bottom. And all I'm doing is just quickly cleaning out this airbrush. Repeat the process. Bit of thinners in here. So you can see, like, I'm only putting a few drops in there. And then we're going to go to the next colour, which is the ocean grey. Alright, so once again, we've got the mixing ball in here. And just a little bit of paint. And just going to. Give it a mix just by holding your finger on the end of the nozzle and pulling back ever so slightly on the trigger. Taking the nozzle off, giving on some fine detail. Just 
All right, so all we're doing now is we're leaving. I zoom in a little bit for you. So all we're doing now is leaving the uh, corners more of a dark, leaving the shades. You know, you'll see what I mean when I sort of finish it off. See, I'm not really putting that grey in these corners or the lighter shades in these corners here. I'm just See a bit more heavy on the tops here. And then just concentrating the lighter shades towards the center of the um, panel. I'm not sure the paint flow, just give the nozzle a bit of a clean. Right, so do that. There's the grey part of the helmet. And we're going to go to light gold grey. Okay. You hear the mixing ball on the bottom, just going to give it a little shake. And because I want this quite thin, I'm not putting much in there at all. You can see it's fairly diluted. So we're just going to give this a little mix. Right, like that. Take the end cap off. So you can see on this piece of paper, I don't know if you can see it, but if I can just get right in there, you see how thin the lines are. Thin paint, low air pressure, and I'll let you get those details. Alright, so I'm going to go back, turn the air pressure right down. If I bring it close to the camera, you can hear like that's off. And you hear it start to come out now. Okay, you sort of want it on the very, very low side because you don't want to blast the helmet with air. So, slightly pulling back on the trigger. See, I'm pushing down and ever so slightly pulling back. You don't want to be yanking back on the trigger. You only want just a little bit of paint to come out. And you just keep pulling until you find that sweet spot. Sort of like that. Get the edge of paint really finely like that. I'm not going all the way to the bottom there, see, because I'm sort of leaving that a bit of a shade down the bottom. Just change it up a bit, guys. Like, don't keep it so uniform, like at all. So, in here. Like that. See, it's not, I'm not going through that. I'm still leaving some parts dark, some, most of it light and just as you work as you go up do the highlights just be sort of more less is more is what I'm trying to say and the thinner the paint the easier it comes out so you can have less air that's probably why sometimes you find that you struggle is you, the paint's too thick and the airbrush has to work just a little bit um, harder to get that thick paint out. Alright, so with, with the main top part of the helmet now, start at the top, I'll sort of work in the middle, and then work your way around the helmet, trying to avoid this where the crack is or where the gap is here in the helmet where the two pieces join and if you want to sort of like go do swirl, swirls or 
lines, depending how, it doesn't really matter how, just be light with the paint. Like you're basically lightly, lightly building it up with, with a mist spray. But a very fine detailed mist spray, like a very fine line. And if you find that you, the dark parts are too dark, just bring the airbrush back, back a little bit and just build, like, sort of take that darkness away with a very light mist and just keep looking at it to make sure that you know, it's covered up. Every now and then, pull it away, have a look at it. Right, so I think that'll do it for the grey. Alright, so that's it for the grey. I'm just going to spray out this... Uh, this light gold grey Once again, same deal, just clean out the airbrush. Just get the bulk of the paint out of the cup just by getting a clean Q-tip, dipping the thinners and just running it around the walls so you don't get any build up and dry build up on your cup. So once it's clean, going to give it another little squirt of thinners. And if you think that's too much in there, just give it a quick squirt of the trigger into your spray cup, spray bottle, whatever you use. Okay, so we're just going to go with this SMS uh, white. Okay, it's out of the uh, basic set. So we'll give this a crack. And once again, we want this very thin. So it's... Go a bit more. Just a little dash more. Right, so that's it. Give the bottle of white down. Just wipe, just always give the edge of your hopper a wipe. And the rain's really coming down, you can hear it outside, the trees are blowing. Okay. Yeah. okay, so put the nozzle in there, just pull back, give it a bit of a mix. You can see how thin it is, you guys, it's like really thin and all we're going to do is going to give it a test spray make sure it comes out turn the air pressure back down all right so you can see how thin that is on my hand so all we're going to do now is mainly concentrate on the high parts of the helmet more like the highlight is what it's it's a white helmet <coughs> so you don't I mean you can go um, not heavy, but just a really light um, spray 
It's just enough to let you know that it is white. Okay, so that's got to be white. So on the top, carefully, just want to do the top edges here. And see how we're not really sort of going, worrying about going too far all the way down the bottom. All right, so you can go a little bit on the front here. All right, so here. Carefully working the centers of the panels. I mean, it, it takes a little bit longer to do, guys, instead of just painting the helmet white and then putting a wash in it or spraying over a black pr uh, primer uh, base coat and then spraying your white on top I mean that's all good and well guys but I think if you take the time to build up the layers like the way I've shown you here and I'm not saying this is how you have to paint your model I'm just saying <clears throat> if you sort of like just break your colors up add more variance to the to the, the main color that you're uh, using um, I mean you, you just it doesn't look so flat. I mean, can you see what I'm talking about, guys? If I just put this airbrush down, and then I sort of put my, bring my hand, and you can see the original colour inside the helmet here, and also around the base of the neck, which I haven't painted. Okay, that was just the uh, was the German grey that was on it. But you can see there, it probably took maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do. And if you do that with whatever model you're building I mean yeah just it's more appealing on the eye I think but anyway guys that was just a little little video on how to uh, combine the colors um, like shading with the SMS paints it's very easy to do um, there's definitely no complaints from me it sprays beautiful the bottles are good quality it's the caps don't leak, that's a bonus, and they don't stick. Um, yeah, so, it's a big thumbs up from me. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. And this is Clem from Outback Mini Models doing a video for SMS. Catch you, fellas. Bye, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See ya.